Uh, obviously, it was a crazy match. <laughs> and obviously, uh, Dennis deserved to win as well. I mean, as well, no, he deserved to win. Both of us deserve to win after when you play these kind of matches. There is no winner, in my opinion. It's, I mean, obviously it's a game, so it has to be someone. But both players were deserve to win, and there is no, there is no who was better or who was worst. He had maybe a bit more chances than me, especially in the fifth set. I had in the beginning one break point, and I couldn't make it. And then he had two during the during the set two two more break points. And but I played them really well, and the rest was nothing. It was just unreal match, and I'm really happy that I was able to win it. Even I couldn't finish six four when I was starting for the match, and I was having much points. And it like I feel even double proud that even after that moment, I was still able to win a match. Thank you. Well, congratulations. Questions? Yes, in the back. Name and affiliation, please. Stephanie Levide, Tennis.com. Seeing all those match points come and go, how much of a mental victory would you consider this for you? Uh, of course, I mean, when you serve for the match after four hours, thinking that, uh, I don't know, not even thinking that you will win. And here at the moment, 5-4, 4-15. And when you're losing those match points and you have one more and you're losing the, your surf, the feeling is like, like you were so close, you were feeling already that is is done, and now looks the match is completely back again. Like the feeling was only but worse inside. I don't know, but then I start to say, okay, it's like I want to have feeling after the match that I did my best because if I start to think about it, I'm gonna lose maybe seven five. And then I will regret double that uh, I didn't fight till the end. That I didn't did I didn't I, yeah that I was not able to do my best. And uh, so I was just telling to myself, just finish the match, do your best. That you go outside of the court and you have no regrets. And then we'll see what's gonna happen. And in the end, I was able to win. And this, you know, this moment, like I feel double proud of myself now. Very good. Rob Moore from The Sun in the UK. You've got Cam Norrie next in the last 16. Can you just talk about the challenge that you're going to face with him? He's a very fit bloke, so do you expect to be doing a lot of running on court? Obviously, it's going to be a tough match, especially our last meeting I lost to him. And like you said, the way he plays, he makes you go for extra shots to take extra risk, which is if you take extra risk, normally you miss more. And the way he play, he play really low, he play long rallies, he really, he move really well. So it's going to be tough match, it's going to be long rallies, it's going to be mental match, it's going to be a real, it's going to be a really physical match. And then it's going to be smart tennis, because to beat him you have to play really smart. Very good. Thank you, Gary. Andre, do you worry, because now the competition gets tough, as you know, in the next round, 48 hours from now, the fact you played such a grueling match, do you worry that will affect your next match? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. First of all, I have one and a half day now to recover, and I think it's in this kind of, yeah, you can do good recovery. And then I had different situations. I had situations that I was playing till quarterfinals without losing a set and then in the middle of the match I was feeling completely dead and I was playing I don't know all the matches three sets less than anyone till quarterfinal you know and then some matches I was playing also really long coming from another tournament arriving to quarterfinal and I was feeling the same so and then you never know how it's better the the, the best is to win matches doesn't matter how doesn't matter if five sets three sets to win and then the rest doesn't matter Very good. I'm right in saying you went to see Harry Styles. Huh? Did you go and watch Harry Styles? Twice, yes. Twice. Yes. Uh, what days were those and, and why did you go and see him? I uh, went Monday to, yeah, not this one, like before, the quality one, the quality week. Then Tuesday I went 21 Pilots and then Friday again I went to watch Harry Styles. Like no, I, li I really like the show, plus they were helping me a lot with the tickets, the tickets were really good, so uh, I was nothing, I, I didn't know what to do, and I, I like music, so and then 
I was enjoying. The, I had a really good seats and I was alone, so just to enjoy my time. Uh, congratulations, a great win today. The crowd really give you a warm reception throughout the match and as all tournament. Uh, given the tensions in the world, are you, are you surprised at all and, and, and that people have been so welcoming here for you? I don't know actually about today. I mean, obviously the first two matches I was feeling a lot support. And I think today, at least till fifth set or till fourth set, I was feeling they were supporting much more Dennis. Uh, I don't know what my feeling was. Then after the when I won the fourth set, then I started to feel was 50-50, like because start to also many people scream my name, and uh, yeah, and then, then I finish with a good support, obviously, and uh, and it's amazing feeling to to play matches because obviously it's after pandemic we don't had much crowd and to see now since the beginning when we uh, went on court to see full crowd uh, grandstand is an unreal feeling and and all the people they were they were staying and in the end was even more and more and more because the match was really good so in the end we end up with a completely sold out uh, court is something is something special